you have control over the alignment annotation. Uh, and as yet, we haven't really looked in depth at the annotation itself. We've looked at where we can annotate and the style that we use to annotate, but we haven't really looked at how we can edit the style that's being used. So we're going to pop up to the alignments tab and click on edit alignment. And then depending on where you are, you can left click somewhere along the alignment for road one. We're then going to pop up to the alignment annotation label set. And there we're going to pick the set that we're currently using, which is the major, minor and geometry. And in there we have on the left hand side all the different parts of the alignment that we would like to annotate. Then in the central section we're choosing a style to use to annotate that particular part. So at the moment we've currently got the major text being used for the alignment um, minor geometry text. So if we zoom in we can see that they look identical. What we might do is create a brand new style that is a copy of major text that maybe is slightly smaller for the purposes of the minor uh, annotation. So to do this we're going to move over to where it says the major text. There is a little uh, box. We're going to left click on the edit box. This is where we can edit our label styles. So this is very similar to what we did within the um, labels module. We're currently using major text for all of the minor uh, alignment elements. So what we'll do is first of all just copy this and then we'll work with a copy rather than working uh, from something from scratch. So we're going to use the copy button and then we're going to call this minor text and then click OK. So the label style itself has been created from a few different parts. We've got a symbol, which is basically, if we double click on that, you'll see it's a very, very small marker that almost is non-existent, but this is just to help anchor the label to the alignment. We're going to click on cancel, followed by two line segments. If I zoom into the alignment, you can see we've got a segment on the left and a segment on the right. And these two parts um, of the label style are to draw those two parts. So if I click, double click on the first entry, you can see we've got a, a line being drawn minus one, which is to the left of the alignment. And if we double click on the second part, we've got a, a line being drawn a positive one to the right hand side. The final part is the actual text itself. So we're going to double click on the text entry. And in here, we're currently displaying text 2.5mm high, um, position of 5 away from the original alignment, with an angle of 90 degrees, with a prefix of chainage or CH, and the item itself. So we can actually label all sorts of different things within the alignment. What we're going to do is simply reduce the size of the text to 2 by typing in 2 at the top, and then clicking OK down the bottom. So minor text will look pretty much identical to major, except the text will be marginally smaller. We're going to click OK. And then where we've got minor alignment, major text, we'll then click on that pull down and now change that to minor text. Now we can click on refresh. And that text has now been reduced for the uh, 10. So you can see how that's been uh, reduced down. Let's click OK. There's one further way we can access this annotation. And this is for labels generally throughout the drawing. If we stay on the alignments tab, we can go to the label plan button. And in there, you'll see the surface labels that we created in the labels module. But we've also got alignment annotation. You can double click on that entry. And in here, this is where we've got basically a concise list of all the um, annotation uh, alignment annotation that's being created within the project. So you can see here we've got road one. We can choose to um, not have that annotated if we choose. We've got the alignment annotation set, which is what we just picked and edited, followed by an edit button, followed by the change list. So this is where we choose what changes are annotated. And again, we can edit either of these two at any point. We're going to click on close and click on close. Now, if at any point you make any changes within that particular form, um, or maybe even move your alignment or something along those lines where you make a significant change and you need the drawing to refresh the annotation, the synchronize button found on the labels panel will go ahead and update those labels for you.